the time has come. The first teaser for Deadpool 3 has dropped, or Deadpool and Wolverine, as we're learning it's titled. Let's do this. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> All right, okay. Um, it's been a challenging few years, for sure, but I'm happy. That is because of each and every one of you. I'm the luckiest man alive. <laughs> Make a wish, buddy. Wade Wilson? Who's asking? <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Is that supposed to be scary? Pegging isn't new for me, friendo, but it is for Disney. <laughs> Mr. Wilson, you appear to have soiled yourself while unconscious. I wasn't unconscious. Who are you? <laughs> Why am I here? Walk with me. Wait. You are special. This is your chance to be a hero among heroes. I smell what you're stepping in, Sensei. <laughs> Your little cinematic universe is about to change forever. I'm the Messiah. I am Marvel Jesus. Don't just stand there, you ape. Give me a hand up. Nope, I'm actually okay. Thank you very much. <laughs> While I'm talking, be sure to join me down below in the comment section. Let me know what did you think about our first teaser for Deadpool and Wolverine. Also, just a week back, I did a panel at Megacon with Holden Hardman, Cody Leach, Filmstock, Adam Does Movies, where we talked about has the comic book movie bubble burst, and we talked a lot about Deadpool 3, our excitement level for it, all that fun stuff. So if you want to hear some elaborate thoughts on the future of the Marvel Cinematic Universe comic book movies in general, check that one out. I'm going to watch the trailer one more time, and then I'm going to talk about it. All right, there it is, and very much a teaser trailer that felt very much like we're seeing the first 30 minutes of the film in short form, and don't really know where things are going, but teasing the vibe of what's going on. There had been rumors that it would be the TVA getting Deadpool to join in on some adventures. Now we saw that. The set photos have been from that snowy location with logos popping up out of the ground. So we're seeing that sequence. But what exactly is the threat? What is his role in all of this? How does it all tie together? I do not know. Thus, a teaser doing its job of letting you know what's coming, giving you a flavor for where the story's headed, but not giving away plot points. So how did the trailer actually work for me? I, I thought it, it was it was good. It didn't totally blow me away. Uh, and perhaps some of that is because we've seen the character before and there have been so many set photos that like, as soon as you go to the snowy location, you kind of knew what sort of things we're supposed to see. And since the leaks have already shown us Hugh Jackman as Wolverine, when you do the teaser showing less than the leaks that we've had for months and months and months, it's just a bit of an interesting dynamic of the tease loses some of its luster when the leaks already teased it. That's actually a conversation I've been having with some people on Twitter over the last week or so with all of these Daredevil leaks coming out. And I think this might be the perfect example of it where... We already had this teased nine months ago when the set photos came out. 
And thus, the trying to do a proper teaser that's not giving away a lot, that is just kind of setting the stage without giving away the big reveals, it lost something because the big reveals have been given away via people with telescopic lenses trying to snap photos and leaking them and them being spread all across the internet. It is what it is, but I mean, you get some solid Deadpool crass jokes in there. Sentimentality followed immediately by crassness. Um, you get uh, some poking fun at the nature of bringing Deadpool and his raunchy humor into Disney. Get a little bit of that fun, get some poking fun at multiverse. I am curious if the TVA aspect will be lost on the non all in MCU folks that don't have Disney plus and don't watch all the shows TVA, of course, Loki, big part of the Disney plus universe, one of the stronger shows that most everyone thinks is good, but that's still just a segment of the overall Marvel audience. And when you make that like a pivotal kind of reveal without explaining exactly what it is, all the normies that are just like, Oh, I love Deadpool. I love Ryan Reynolds won't necessarily know exactly what's going on here, has a bit of that, the Marvel's problem of, did you just give me a homework assignment to enjoy this movie? Now, I think the hook of Deadpool and Hugh Jackman coming back as Wolverine, like the hook of that, I think, is dramatically stronger than um, Captain Marvel 2. But there is, a, there is an element of that, and if I was going to hold that against... The Marvels have to also hold it against the movie that I'm more excited for. And there is a flavor of that with this project. But uh, overall, good teaser. Teasers not teasers aren't supposed to give everything away. And because we knew some stuff in the set leaks, I think that makes it possibly difficult to do a teaser that's just like, wow, that blew my mind. Because we've seen more from the teaser, from the leaks, as I've discussed already. But think it'll do its job for the normies that aren't us that spend all of our time on the internet checking all this stuff out that it will let them know the movie's coming, Wolverine's in it, and it's going to be wacky wild and pull him into the MCU. So that's essentially where I land on it. Let me know what you thought about it down below in the comments section and keep talking movies and TV too much. Bye-bye.